So this is an example of a synthrothermal method um, fertility chart. This is the temperature part of it and we are looking for a biphasic pattern or two phases and a rise in the temperature um, confirms that ovulation has occurred but there's certain criteria that need to be met to see the rise and that's um, what you learn when you actually learn the method correctly. Um, it identifies ovulation or confirms that ovulation has occurred. The mucus sensation and description, that is a different part of the chart and that helps you identify your fertile time within your cycle or your periovulatory time. So the mucus description sensation is um, more about identifying fertile time and knowing I guess whether you want to avoid that time and the temperature more confirms that it's been an ov ovulatory cycle and ovulation has occurred. We have um, a part down the bottom as well that um, you can mark in your intercourse and then when you do a chart interpretation you can see whether it has been within the fertile time or not. And the other is just a marker for if you've been unwell or if you've had alcohol or there's been other things going on in your life, that can actually also change things within your cycle. So it's important to look at the whole part of the cycle, not just one part of it.